In today's episode, we are going to talk about ideas made possible with Anna Silvermain from Tycoon's Group Incorporation, sharing her story how CX and AI is shaping the industry to help people make their ideas come true. Join us with Infinite Waves and stay tuned. This is the Infinite Waves podcast, where innovation meets imagination. From trailblazing technologies to inspiring stories of leadership, we're charting a course towards the future filled with limitless possibilities. Together with Creative Innovations Lab, let's explore AI and future technology. Hello, welcome to Infinite Waves podcast. Today we have a very special guest, um, she believes in culture as the forefront of business and also she believes in technology and a supporter and a big believer in this podcast. Uh, I'm happy to introduce managing partner and CEO of Tycans Group who have been in the CX business space for the last two decades serving large uh, airline organizations, government and healthcare services uh, sectors in the space. Anna, welcome to the show. Thank you, Russell. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be here. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Awesome. So my first question for you today is, you as a CEO of a leading um, CX organization in Canada, where does, where does this journey start and how, how have you come so far into this space? Uh, that's a good question. It was um, definitely a wonderful journey um, with, um, I would say, a rather emotional path, if you will. Uh, coming from um, a technology background, uh, you would think that it's all about the technology and tech space, but uh, formation of Tykens originated from the beauty of the people that we were able to uh, work with along the way, as well as uh, uh, people that we're working with today. Um, having the technology components, it's a small aspect of what we do. And um, Tykens itself is called Tykens Group, as it's defined as a group of people that absolutely loves working together and, and of course, serving other people. Um, we believe that we, we are in the people business. Um, we got together as people, we serving companies that also serve people and our customers serve people. So from that, we coming in with a little, maybe a gift, helping on the technology side, because if we, one of the unique factors of Tykens is that we, before we take on the project, we try to figure it out, what is the customer needing? And we would go on the floor, we would go shadow, we would do, um, get gain deeper understanding of what their everyday life looks like, what their agents are going through. And it really puts a huge, um, uh, it, it puts in a huge, gives us a big perspective of what their life looks like, because they're the real heroes. They're the ones that are out there. They're the nurses who are attending to an accident where a baby fell off the swing and the father is calling. They're the dispatchers that dispatch the ambulances and, and the help comes in forward. Um, technology is so small in comparison to how important are our customers and, 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 and what they serve, who they serve, and the fact that we're grateful to be able to help in that technology space in the CX side and bring in these technologies. I, I would say overall, we've been very privileged to, to have a chance to meet beautiful people from, you know, like you mentioned, the airlines, but also the crisis services from the um, emergency services and nurses and, and uh, a lot of beautiful, beautiful people that, yeah, that we met. Yeah, I can only imagine uh, serving in those um, industries. It's 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 not easy. Those are the real heroes that, who actually save lives. And while while you were talking, I, there was this curiosity that built. So I know that Tykens is right now moving into AI, and I was curious to know, being in the contact center space or maybe customer experience space for the longest time. Why is the sudden shift uh, towards the C, uh, AI space now? Well, the question becomes why not? 
Um, we are technology geeks, um, don't tell anyone. Uh, and uh, yes, I mean, technology evolves every day. Um, and if we're, we're, we're fortunate enough that we have amazing people who, who also are maniacs when it comes to technology. Uh, so for us, technology is something that you know, we, we, we love. And AI, when it first came out and you hear all that propaganda, how scary it is, it's gonna take over the world and, and do a lot of damage. Uh, there's also a beauty to, to those technologies, and that is that it will help people as well, and it will help decisions making, making it uh, more accurate and even more, um, uh, more uh, pointy to, to what the issue may be. So um, I believe that um, AI is natural progression, where we can actualize um, our technology, our thoughts, um, and, and continue providing an amazing service. Yeah, so just a follow-up question on that, like do you see AI creating a significant impact in the CX space uh, anytime soon? Of course, yes, it's already creating impacts. I believe it's positive, but I don't know. The future can only bring the future. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's definitely a positive impact, and it is creating it um, towards, um, I believe, the betterment of um, whether it's the services that we're providing or, or the speed of information that becomes readily available, or simply simplifying the complexity of some of the uh, decisions or, or even uh, uh, information sharing that is required. Um, our lives in general are getting more and more complex. So having a tool that is able to readily answer it and quickly provide answer to the most you know, complex issues is, uh, you know, it's like everyone's dream, you know, so I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, th this, is, this is really exciting. I mean, uh, AI is a big buzzword right now, but having this description or having this understanding about AI, how it's gonna really shape industries and sectors is very important to know. And I think uh, most of our audience or the listeners would also appreciate that. And um, so coming back to Tycans uh, CX, so what's, what's happening in Tycans? Anything, anything hot? Uh, what's new with Tycans? Oh, a lot. Um, I guess the most exciting part about Tycans is that we finally will be launching our new products. Wow. So it's a big launch date coming up in December. Uh, we will actually have more products coming out after that. It was a bit of a shift in, in how uh, we've approached um, our services and to be able to deliver a product that other people might be able to find useful. So our Unity will be launched in December, then we'll be going into the support and with enhanced AI, as well as being able to provide a series of additional products coming up. So super exciting on the product side. And uh, at the same time, more technology. That's exciting as well, branching out, learning more, learning new technologies and more services, of course, just uh, just to see how we can help more, how we can be better serve our customers. Okay, so this is a question that I like to ask uh, most of my guests. Uh, so right now, Tycans is focused on CX, and I know that you are shifting towards AI as well, which is exciting for everybody. So if there is a question like this, what challenges uh, in the future, does Tycans and your new AI arm is planning to solve for people? Um, the challenge is that we're, um, like the biggest challenge that I often find is time. Can we get there fast enough? Are we there on time? to be able to serve our customers in the speed that they need. So time is the one that I'm always um, feeling that it's like the clock is ticking, it's like we gotta go faster. Uh, we have to move forward with the technology faster. So that's one of my personal biggest challenge is that it almost skips to the future. I like the song says, uh, without, uh, without being forgiving for you know missing something. Uh, so having to focus on the challenge of you know technology, te technological advancement, and staying current and staying uh, with with people all, all the time, it allows us to uh, being able to uh, I guess 
even almost be double motivated to study more, work harder, and, and be able to acquire new technologies and provide more services. Uh, so it's, um, yeah, the biggest challenge, I would say, it's the t time and the fact that sometimes it's, you know, should be more, but. Yeah, no, I, I read recently where ChatGPT is considered as a thinking partner. It's not considered as a tool anymore. It's like you're outsourcing your thinking to AI right now. And I can only imagine with, uh, with organizations such as Tycans and uh, a Creative moving into this space and taking firsthand human experiences from our customers and uh, combining those with the power of AI and, and change the future. Um, that's that's going to be beautiful. Um, so I think that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much, Anna, for thank joining you. and sharing your experiences with us. And we would really like to have you once again in the show, probably sometime back after you launch your product to learn more how it goes and help people. Um, thank you once again for being part of uh, Infinite Waves. Uh, and we'll see you with the next wave. Thank you. Thank you, Russell. Thank you. Pleasure being here. So Anna, where can clients or potential customers who are interested about your products can get in touch with you? Well, thank you. The best way I think I would say would be uh, try our website, www.tykins.com. Uh, we do have multiple ways of reaching us and uh, yeah, but don't be a stranger, come by and say hello. Thank you once again, Anna, for being part of uh, Infinite Waves. So up next, we have Callum McNeil, CEO of Creative Innovations Lab. Uh, who's going to be our next guest. So I'm super excited to be chatting with him on the next wave. See you then. Thank you for joining us on the Infinite Waves podcast, where innovation never stops. Stay tuned for more insights and stories from visionary leaders powered by Creative Innovations Lab. Until next time, let's keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.